evening and welcome to another helping of Mr H's Art Pot. Tonight's little video is about those of you who receive these from TV licensing. Yes, many of you out there will recognise that this is the Threatogram. And although I personally haven't had a Threatogram from TV licensing since the end of March now, for some explicable reason, long may that continue, uh, some of you have been saying that you've been getting them with your name on. Uh, despite being known as the legal or present occupier sometimes for many years and you're asking what suddenly changed do you need to do anything uh, and mainly do you need to contact TV licensing well my advice in short is no you don't need to do a damn thing you're still under no legal obligation to contact TV licensing whether they address you by name as the Queen or anything else and my advice is actually don't bother now, another thing that you've been asking me is, you know, how have they got me information? Well, in short, what TV licensing have now started doing is they've now started employing third-party companies to data man, and they actually buy the information off them. And I think the company that's been mentioned in a um, Freedom of Information uh, Act question is Axiom, which is an American company, I believe. And what they do is they collate information on people. And they get that information from things like store cards, online competitions, you know, online promotions, anything that you sign up for free. Basically anything whenever you fill in, fill in something to get something for nothing and they ask for your details to enter you into a competition or whatever. There's always a little box somewhere if you look on it in the small print and it'll say, you know, please tick or please uncheck if you're online if you don't wish your details to be passed on to other third party companies that they deem you may be interested in. And it sounds very uh, blasé that, and many of us don't even bother about that, do we? All we can see is the free thing that we want, and we don't bother with it. And it, it can come back and bite you on the backside, which is what's happened with a few people. You could turn around and say that uh, maybe they'll honour your wishes and maybe they'll not. My advice is the best way to ensure your details don't get into the rams in the first place is don't bloody give it on. Now, obviously, banks and things like that, they do need your details. But don't be afraid to actually ask them what happens to this information. And don't get it, oh, well, it's all there in small print if you read it. Say, no, I want to know. Otherwise, I'll take my custom elsewhere. Now, for those of you who've already getting the name threatograms, your main worry will be, will your name stay on them forevermore? Now, evidence suggests that if you don't bother and you don't reply to these threatograms to confirm that your name is actually the correct one, um, TV licensing eventually revert you back to legal stroke present occupier. So, you may have to wait about four threatograms on before that, that actually happens. And they may try it on again, you know, they may um, actually put your name back on just for try you out. I mean, what you've got to remember with the Threatogram is it's not actually designed to give you any form of information. It's trying to give you a kick up the backside and force you to either contact them, you know, or buy a TV licence. That's its, that's its all sole purpose. And them just putting your name on it again is just another little tactic to try and scare you, that's all. The best thing to do is just not reply to it. And uh, once again, you know, you'll find as it'll just revert back to, you know, nobody basically. Now, some tips I'll give you another little tip is uh, regarding the voting register. If you are on the voting register, which is supposed to be a legal requirement, none of us have any choice about that, officially. Um, there's two versions of it. There's the open register, which anybody can go out and buy, you know, any company, including TV licensing if they wanted to. And there's the edited version, which is only available to government agencies, and, you know, people like the run-up to the general election, political parties can actually see that. Or, you know, if you go down to your local library, you can actually view it. But I doubt Capita are going to put a lot of manpower into keep marching people down to um, local libraries. They've simply not got the manpower or people power, if you want to be um, politically correct. So try and get yourself on that if, if you you know, if you one of those who will put your name on the register, you know, if you don't, that's your business type of thing. I'm not trying to tell you to break the law. That's far be it from me to do that. So on my own front, I've, like I say, I've not had one. Um, that'll probably change, probably tomorrow it'll be at back at door and I'll be sat in front of this camera again saying welcome to another TV licensing volume. 
But uh, hopefully it'll put some of your minds at rest. Like I said, all you can do is just ride it out. What you must always remember is that when it was not addressed to you personally, it was bullshit in them. And, although it's got your name on it, it's still the same jargon, it's still the same bullshit. So, you simply bin them. So, until the next time, bye bye for now.